guys, welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. This is episode number 82, episode number 82, and today I want to talk to you about how to sell more art for the holiday season, how to sell more of your work during the holidays. All right, my friends, so again, welcome back to Breakfast with Sergio. Super excited. We are getting closer to episode 100, which is going to be really awesome. Well, today I'm recording Breakfast with Sergio right from my studio, right from my home studio. This is where I am. I'm working in this giant piece, which is 7 feet tall by 18 feet wide. And it's going to be soon done and finished. And this is a part of uh, one of the pieces that will be in my upcoming exhibition. So if you're in Chicago, please join me September 21st, September 21st. Join me at ACS Gallery, which is located in the fourth floor of the Joby Art Center uh, in Bridgeport neighborhood in Chicago. So if you're in Chicago on September 21st, you gotta be here, you gotta come and join me uh, and uh, see this beautiful work, which again will be done and finished it's 18 feet wide, along with many other new pieces that I've been working on. In this show, I'm closing the year after a, a really strong season of 2018, which uh, gave me, I was so honored and uh, so grateful uh, to have had this year uh, four solo museum shows internationally, three uh, in three different countries. So two museum shows in Mexico, one in Romania, and one in Italy. And I'm finishing, you know, this year as a way to say thank you, going back home, going back to my community, and say thank you so much for your, all your support. And this will be the, how I close 2018. So come and join me if you are in Chicago again, September 21st. Uh, at ACS Gallery from 7 to 10 p.m. Free parking can be that. Well, my friend, today I want to talk about how you can sell more art during the holiday season. Here, here's what happens in my career. Maybe you can, um, uh, you know, maybe this might be similar to your case. Uh, well, in my case, you know, I like to work large. Most of my paintings are about 42 inches wide by 70 inches tall. That's my typical size. Uh, they are quite expensive. So, you know, for, for a normal uh person with an average job, you know, these pieces are quite large, they're quite expensive, and there's a lot of people that follow my work, and that would love to have a small Sergio Gomez, a small work of mine. And this is something I was thinking about, you know, back about six years ago, when I was 41 years old, and I thought I'm going to make a series of works uh, at a small size, but a whole series that I can, you know, put at a price point where a lot of the, my collector base, a lot of my, my followers who would love to be my collectors but cannot afford my larger paintings can have access to this small work. And so in, in uh, uh, six years ago, I did this series that was called 41 Winters. And 41 Winters was about doing a, a winter piece, one for each of my years, which back then I was 41. Uh, you can do the math now how old I am six years later. But, uh, you know, the idea was to make a 12 by 12 piece for each one of my winters. And uh, I did a whole series of them. I actually enjoyed the series so much that I ended up doing 64. Instead of 41, I ended up doing 64 of them. And out of the 64, I only have two left, you know, which uh, this here's one example of one of those pieces. And it was uh, done on a 12 by 12 on wood. And I put some... Um, support in the back, easy to hang, ready to hang, so people could come buy them. They could buy them online, they could buy them uh, on a pop-up shop that I did, open studio type of thing. And uh, I sold uh, in the first year, the first uh, season where I launched this, uh, uh, I sold a lot of them. And then I rerun them again the second the second year around and I sold a lot of them too. So over the year, you know, over the last uh, couple of years following the 41 winters, I ended up selling most of them, only keeping about two or three that I have left just here for me, for my collection. But uh, it is a really neat, each one is numbered. Of course, this is number three out of the 64. And so that's an idea that, that it went so well that I thought, well, what if I challenge myself every year to do something special for uh, new collectors, people who have been following me this year, but they don't have one of my pieces because they cannot afford them. They're too big or too expensive for them. So I give them an opportunity to do something special. So that's when I started to do what I call the Small Works Challenge, where at the end of the year, starting in September, I start thinking about ideas on how to do this. And then in the month of October, I spend a lot of time uh, in marketing, planning, marketing, uh, email list, uh, growth, and so on. And then I release them 
in November, at the end of November, usually right after Thanksgiving. And then I promote them all the way to the end of the year. And I usually do really well. I sell a lot of work, you know, at the end of the season. And it is something that I just enjoy. You know, it's not something that I'm just doing it because I want to sell. Although, of course, it's, it's, it's the, that's a great idea. But to me, it's this, it's this idea of making, uh, giving something to the people that have supported me for so long, you know, for so long who love what I do, who've been following me in social media, and who, you know, would love to have a small world of mine uh, in their home that they can live with. That's really the motivation that, that drives me to do this small world challenge. So, and it's also a great challenge for me as an artist to, to work small because I'm used to year round to work large, you know, like the piece you see back here. I love these large works and the, all the emotion and all the uh, effort and, and energy that I can put on, this, on the big work. So it, it's really a challenge for me mentally, physically, um, and technically how to you know transfer that into smaller scale so this year I'm working for example on here some ideas that I'm doing of uh, on a small cradle board and making some new pieces that are gonna be kind of maybe floating in the inside I'm still kind of playing around uh, this idea and I'm gonna make up my mind soon so I can start production have them ready by November so that's an idea for you my friend you know if this is something that maybe attracts uh, is an attractive idea for you think it, think of it as a doing a small work challenge for you, for your collector base, for your fans, for the people that have been following you uh, throughout the year. Maybe you have uh, there people who love the, the work that you have, but they just will never be able to afford, you know, your thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollar work that you make, but they could afford something at a small, smaller price point, uh, 500, 300, again, depends what you do. Uh, I have done this with artists in the past where I bring them in to work with me in the small work challenge and some of them have sold really, really well, uh, you know, a lot of pieces and, uh, you know, it, it, it really, you can do it no matter what medium you make, you know, you can do small sketches, you can do small drawings, small paintings, small sculptures, uh, small reproductions of something. Uh, again, you know, it, it, the the opportunities are really, really open and what was pretty cool the first time I did it and um, when I was 41 and I did, it was called 41 Winters, the whole series, is that I selected a poem and the poem became the basis for the whole series. So, so all the pieces were inspired by the poem. And I did a whole press release, a whole marketing campaign. It was so cool that even uh, NPR here, Chicago National Public Radio from Chicago, they featured the show, they featured uh, this effort that I did. And actually you can still listen to it on my website. If you go to my website, SergioGomezOnline.com, you can, look for 41 winters on their art and you can see, you can actually listen uh, to the um, feature that uh, NPR did on 41 winters, which was awesome. And that's really what kicked on the idea. So every year since that, I've been doing the Small Wars Challenge. So my friend, that's something that you can do for your art career. And if you want to do it with me, if you want me to work with you on the Small Wars Challenge, kind of guiding you through step by step, week by week, giving you ideas on how to promote it, how to market it, how to get it started, how to invite your friends, how to lead up to an event and so on. If you wanna do it with me, you are more than welcome to do it. Uh, you, uh, What you want to do is join my art community, join the, the Art Next Level program that I have, where this winter, or actually this fall, you know, we are already starting to work on the Small Wars Challenge. So all you have to do is go to www.theartistnextlevel.com right slash offer www.theartistnextlevel.com right slash offer. I have a special offer for you where you can join me, be part of the Small World Challenge and uh, do something pretty cool for your collector base this winter. Thanks my friends for watching and share this episode.